Over 1,700 people have died from the COVID-19 in the U.S. in the last 24 hours. As the country's death toll nears 86,000, Brazil has registered a record 13,944 new cases in a day, increasing the toll to over 200,000 with nearly 14,000 deaths. The global death toll from the virus has crossed 302,000 with over 4.4 million people infected. Further details in this report. Countries are surely but cautiously opening up amid warnings of a second wave of the virus. Fatalities in France continue to spike, while Cambridge University study reveals about 6.5 million people have been infected in the UK. The WHO has warned if countries fail to prepare their health systems, the new coronavirus could become endemic. The lesson here is no time for celebration, but time for preparation. Because it's not the first time that the world is facing a pandemic, but definitely this has been a very, very devastating one. So even if we have few cases, we have seen that the strongest health systems can be overwhelmed in a couple of weeks. The economic fallout of the virus has got the world in fits as even massive stimulus packages fail to compensate. The International Olympics Committee expects to bear the costs of hundreds of millions due to the postponed Tokyo 2020 Games. We uh, anticipate uh, that uh, we will have to bear costs of up to uh, 800 million US dollars uh, for our part of uh, the res uh, responsibilities for the organization of uh, uh, the Games. And uh, this amount, uh, there will be covered by uh, the IOC itself, uh, of course, including uh, any funding uh, that we may have to refer to uh, from the Olympic uh, Foundation. Public health authorities across the globe have pushed for expanding cutting-edge research of COVID-19 in a bid to develop a vaccine.